Hey yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news. Now today we have, hey yo, man, look, 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 look. was Charleston White hit? You know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 academics. Well, we, we're gonna go into that in a second. All right. uh, we got um, uh, uh, Glorilla, the artist Glorilla, firing back at the makeup artist man. We also have um, then I have something else over here, man. We got um, uh, we got uh, what is it? Uh, Leve Leveon Bell. All right, on um, um <laughs> on Kamala being a tramp. Okay, and we also have uh, what else we got over here, man? Um, Future hitting at a reconciliation with, with with the artist Drake, and we also got YSL judges going wild, man. Again, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source Show. If this is your first time to the channel, man, be sure to hit that like button. Feel any part of the content? We definitely appreciate that. That notification bell is waiting for your tassel. So go and give it a tap, and that subscribe button is waiting for your subscription, man. So go on to that. You check this out, man. Have you heard about what the YSL judge did in the, in the uh, prosecution uh, to the prosecution witness, bro? The, look, the judge in the YSL trial, she sent a prosecution witness to prison for five years for violating his probation by not testifying. This is insane. I need you to take a look at this chart real quick. For um, the judicial system and the seriousness with which um, an oath in court needs to be taken. Um, I actually view this much more akin to perjury, frankly, than a technical violation. And the sentence for perjury is up to 10 years. Uh, I am going to revoke five years of Mr. Sledge's probation. And Mr. Sledge, I am sympathetic to the fact that you um, have generally stayed out of trouble. In and I want to commend you for that. Um, and I really hope that this revocation doesn't set you back. Um, but we've, we've got to take seriously the court system so that's the sentence of the court um i find there to have been that violation i'm revoking five years that's the sentence of the court um i find there to have been that violation i'm revoking five years and reinstating and will be the continued balance. on probation and, yeah, yeah um and reinstate the balance thank you I think y'all knew when you came in here that this was a strong possibility. So, no, I'm sorry. See that, man? <laughs> look, look, it's another reminder, another reminder that when you're in prison or on probation, you're locked in a system of slavery of sorts. You follow what I'm saying, man? We don't tell you before, we're going to tell you again because we all never know whether we have new viewers or not. The 13th Amendment to the United States Constitution, which is the highest law of our land, states that slavery is abolished and involuntary servitude abolished in the United States and its territories, except as a punishment for crime, all right? Don't listen to or follow the fad of crime because it will cause you to be punished with modern day slavery. And no amount of manifesting could render you free. You understand what I'm saying, man? Um, sp speaking of Young Thug, right? Young Thug posted a message stating that he would like to see artists reconcile um, with Drake for the sake of of the music okay uh and then he tagged metro Boomin, he tagged drake and he tagged future uh he this is what he he, he posted this is what baller alert posted baller alert posted this said quote it appears that future may be receptive to young thugs public call for reconciliation with drake and Me metro Boomin. fans observed that future retweeted thugs message from friday october 18th where he wrote this is what thugger wrote he wrote quote we are brothers Music ain't the same without us collabing. Close quote. And then he tagged Drake, Future, and Metro, right? Future reposted that message. <laughs> now, um, it's worthy to note that Metro and Future, they, they remain close. And since the whole situation with Drake, they released two um, chart-topping joint albums. One of them is called We Don't Trust You, and the second one is called We Still Don't Trust You, all right? They released that earlier in the year. So, Thugger says, right, that, that's what Ball Alert posted. So, Thugger is essentially saying that music ain't the same without the collabing. He adds Future, Drake, and Metro. And Future agrees? <laughs> you see, see, you see how they sell you out, man? See, this is why hip-hop has lost a massive amount of respect. And, you know, maybe artists are like, we don't care. But I'm just telling you, this is why hip hop loses respect. Not because they are willing, not because there is a request for reconciliation or not because they're even willing to reconcile. Reconciliation is a good thing. It's an excellent thing, especially if somebody acknowledges the fact that they did something wrong and is like, my bad. The thing about it is this. 
it's the lack of integrity. You know what I mean? It's a lack of integrity in the art form that prides itself on being quote unquote real. You know what I mean? All throughout hip hop, all they, they scream out is how real they are, but it's a lack of actual integrity, a lack of actually being real. You follow what I'm saying, man? It, the real that they talk about apparently seems to have nothing to do with integrity. It, it's, it's more about saying whatever is necessary to make the maximum amount of cash. That's what I'm getting from this, okay? But I mean, I, look, I guess when, when people jump a person, right? When, when they jump a person, they all have different reasons for, for their involvement in the jumping, okay? You know, this guy is jumping him because you stole my woman. This one is jumping him because you took my money. This one is jumping him because I don't like you. This one is jumping him because he light skin. You follow what I'm saying, man? Kendrick's issue with bro was not Future's issue, is what I'm trying to tell you. If Kendrick is like, you're toxic for the culture, you promote women like Sexy Red, you use artists to get motion in the culture, you kiss teenage girls on stage on the lips and exploit inexperienced women who swoon at your financial and popularity status, and you have an aura of pedophilic relations and trafficking that surrounds your situation, and everybody jumps on a bandwagon, and then they hop off because they, you know, they want to make music again. That's why I like hip hop don't get taken seriously. Okay, it's not it's it's not people that love the craft and the art. It's people that love what come with it. You, you understand what I'm saying? That's why I don't think like folks don't take it seriously anymore. And probably that's why it's going down. People are becoming aware. The fog is uh, more or less becoming lifted off of what this joint really has turned into. I don't think it's what it always was. I think it's what it's turned into. And when we allowed certain things to become more prevalent in hip hop culture, and now we realize, oh shoot, this is what it is now. This is where like, this is where we wanna go back to what the golden age of hip hop was, okay? Um, let me give you this one, let me give you this story. Professional boxer and former run, running back, Le'Veon Ball, Bell, right? He's under fire because he was wearing a shirt that said Trump or Tramp, okay? The tramp had the image of Madam Vice President Kamala Harris, all right? And you're like, oh, hey, oh no, not politics again. Hey, shut up, all right? We're talking about culture here. Part of culture is politics, man. Politics, religion, music, art, it's all in culture, bro. You know what I mean? Come on, man. God, some people are just adverse to like anything that has to do with getting new information. Anyway, look. Um, the tramp had the image of Madam Vice President Kamala Harris. I, right? <laughs> to me, the hatred for this woman is astounding. Okay, this man wore apparel that called the Vice President a tramp. You know what a tramp is? It's a vagrant or a wanderer. And when it's referred to as a woman, like for a woman, it's a promiscuous or an immoral woman. It's the same thing as an itch with a bee. You understand what I'm saying, man? She's a hoe. She's a slut. All right? That's what essentially a tramp is. See, when you don't have anything, right? You got to go with whore because maybe that'll hurt. You follow what I'm saying, man? Uh, you got to call a whore a slut. Even though you was never in the bedroom, you don't got no videos, you don't got no evidence, okay? Nice try, all right? But, but let me go into how folks have responded to Bell's statement of him wearing the shirt because by wearing the shirt, he was making a statement, okay? What? Because I don't wear like praise Satan shirts, because if I did, that would be telling a message, okay? So when you wear clothes, you, you send a statement. I don't care what you think it is, all right? One person said, Le'Veon Bell is a loser who made, uh, and if I'm mispronouncing his name, that's my apology, that's no, that's no shade. Le'Veon Bell is a, is a loser, I'm just pronouncing it based on how it's spelled, um, is a loser who made one of the dumbest business decisions I've ever seen in a professional athlete make. It makes sense he would call Harris a tramp, seemingly for no reason whatsoever, except that she's a woman, because he is as dumb as a bag of hammers. Close quote, right? <laughs> um, another person said this. They said, at 32 years old, Le'Veon Bell has seven kids by six different women and has the gall to call Kamala Harris a tramp? Get the cuss up out of here with that bull-ish, okay? That's word, that's word. Uh, for real though, I mean, and I could be wrong, right? And I'm so, uh, just to comment on that statement. And I'm sorry if this applies to you. We just drop the, the brick and it falls on who it does, okay? But if you got seven kids by six different women, chances are, to me, you don't make great decisions. I'm just calling it as it is. And I'm sure if you're in that boat, you probably disagree with me, but disagreeing with me is proof that I'm right. You understand what I'm saying? You don't, you don't have enough self-control to not do that. You, you understand what I'm saying? 
it's, it's okay to say in this area, I make terrible decisions. Because there are some areas where I know I make bad decisions, okay? But, but <laughs> like, I could trust you if you said that. But if you was like, yo, I don't make good decisions when it comes down to picking partners or women. I got a weakness or whatever. I could trust you if you said that. But you can't even tell that your decision making is bad. You understand what I'm saying? Let me, let me, I'm, I'm going to swing back to that. Another person said between Donald Trump, Le'Veon Bell, Antonio Brown, because he also endorsed bro. There are over 35 felonies, multiple sexual assaults, and multiple illegitimate kids. But they have the nerve to call Kamala Harris a tramp. Cuff those guys. Close quote. <laughs> now, Le'Veon heard that one. And he said, I don't have not one felony. <laughs> I'm over here like this man missed it. See, this is what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. You understand what I'm saying? I told you, man. Misogyny. Misogyny. A lot of dudes hate her because she's a woman. You know what I mean? Because if she was a white man, this, would, this wouldn't even be a discussion. We didn't hear half the kickback against Biden that we're hearing about Madam Vice President. And here's the other thing, okay? Seven, seven kids by six women? <laughs> listen, listen, right? A whore could be a man or a woman. Let me just throw that out here, okay? But people act like being a whore man is admirable and being a whore woman is disgusting. But let me ask you a question. Would you use someone else's Q-tip? How about a Q-tip that's been in about six or seven different ears, okay? You want to use a spoon that eight other people used? You understand the point that I'm trying to make? Here's the thing about being a whore man or a whore woman. If you're promiscuous, chances are you don't value virtues such as self-control, discipline, and modesty. And you don't live up to the ideals of self-respect, honor, nor responsibility. <laughs> you like, what are you talking about? I'm disciplined. I go to the gym all the time. Yeah, but you can't control your penis, okay? Look, any any pretty woman can activate your penis. And pretty is a poor criteria for a good woman. You don't see that? If a person is promiscuous, right? Chances are they do not value commitment because they're promiscuous. They don't value commitment. They don't value emotional depth nor spiritual purity because they're acting contrary to those values. You understand what I'm saying? Or is it making too much sense? If you don't care for those values, have at it. Get as many dirty Q-tips as you could gather. Listen. A whore allows themselves, man or woman, a whore allows themselves to be used or uses others for temporary gratification, which may indicate that they probably don't even respect their own emotional or physical boundaries. And they have a low regard for their mental and physical health. You understand what I'm saying? It's a big deal. They exchange all of those values for short term pleasure, thereby disqualifying themselves from being a good partner for you. And if these people know that being a whore is bad, right? If you know that being a whore is bad, and when you're labeled a whore, you're upset about it because you think it's bad, but you still persist in the behavior, it creates an inner conflict within the person, which, which results in a lack of consistency within oneself. That lack of consistency within oneself is a lack of integrity. You understand what I'm saying? When you, when you deal with a whore, right or, or or you become a whore right or or um any of anything of the sort a whore slut whatever it is when you're dealing with that you're dealing with the baggage and when i say baggage i'm talking luggage of a person that lacks integrity and knows it you're gonna deal with their luggage you understand what i'm saying look 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 listen man kamala has not shown herself to be a tramp okay <laughs> Look, Mr. Let me focus on Arnold Palmer's penis. Okay, that fits more the criteria a little bit better. You like, wait, what? Oh, 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 you ain't heard what Trump said about Arnold Palmer's penis? Take a listen to this joint. But Arnold Palmer was all man, and I say that in all due respect to women, and I love women. But this guy, this guy, this is a guy that was all man. This man was strong and tough, and I refuse to say it, but when he took showers with the other pros, they came out of there, they said, oh my God, that's unbelievable. <laughs> I had to say it. I had to say it. We have women that are highly sophisticated here. That man said that with his face. He said it with his face, okay? Meanwhile, Kenneth Cole in our comments section is telling me I'm the propaganda. 
because I'm merely posting what the ex-president said with his face in English. Look, look, what exactly Here's my question. Real talk, real talk. What exactly does Trump have to say or do for a person to say, you know what? This man is not a serious choice for president. OK, like like we'll never get a perfect candidate. Please don't get me wrong. We'll never get a perfect candidate and no political party is perfect. OK, I hate the Democrat Party's platform and I can't stand a lot of the Republicans. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? That's where I'm at. All right. But that doesn't like that doesn't mean even though we'll never get the perfect candidate, that doesn't mean let's select the worst one. You understand what I'm saying? Those are y'all that ride with Trump. Honest question that I have, what would he have to say in addition to what he's already said and done? What would he have to say for you to say, this guy is a terrible choice for a president? That's an honest question. What would he have to say? Because I'm beginning to think as people that A, can't vote, that are very loud, or people that are just not taking this election seriously that are loud and proud about, bro. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, so listen, a, a makeup artist posted a video, right, of Glorilla having half her face did, okay? And Glorilla did not love the post because some folks figured they was gonna mock the artist for the photo, all right? Uh, take a listen to what Glorilla had to say on that. And source, I think it's the first two clips. Take a listen to the first two clips. You gotta tell them stop playing with me going out the ugly ass motherfucking makeup video. Acting like I don't show my motherfucking bird face every day. What's up? You see me? What you mean? I show y'all my motherfucking bird face every motherfucking day. Y'all know what the fuck going on. Nose and all. Shh. Oh, bitch. Yeah. Big fat motherfucker sitting in on my face. What's up? Y'all laughing at me. I'm damn motherfucking sick. These bitches are playing on my top about it. No disrespect to the girl. It really is disrespect because you know. You're not supposed to upload the ugly video anyway. But shout out to her. She probably got better after two years or whatever. But don't upload no picture and you know they make up one curve. Fuck, got these people playing on my motherfucking face. Like for real, upload that shit, you know, and I look mad on the motherfucking video. Like, girl, take that shit down. I'm for real. I'm, <laughs> I'm for real, y'all piss me off. Fuck, and I still get niggas and I still got y'all niggas. I don't even play with bitches like this. I ain't talking about the makeup artist. Like, shout out to you. Keep doing your motherfucking job. You feel me? Keep doing your job. But you know you want to post upload that old ass ugly ass video. Them ugly. You know them eyebrows are doing a one two step. I ain't mean to call you guys your name. Call you no. Cause you actually she actually a cool person. You feel me? But just don't be doing no shit like this. That's still her plan on my top. Like I won't go laugh. I go laugh right now without a fucking filter. I don't know, man. I mean, <laughs> look, I like her, man. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I like, I like Glorilla. I don't know what it is about her. Okay. Um, uh, like she checked the the makeup artist for releasing the joint without her permission, but in the same breath, she gave her her props and a shout out. Okay. Now the makeup artist did send back a message to Glorilla, or as I like to call her, Gloria. You know what I'm saying? Uh, for posting what she did. Take a listen to what the makeup artist had to say. I'm pretty sure this is clips three and four. Uh, so let's take a listen. My girl uploaded the ugly video with that ugly makeup. So honestly, hearing this hurts, even though she may not remember the conversation that we had that day, but I told her that I was an up and coming makeup artist. I was currently in school and I left school that day early because I was so excited to do her makeup. Yeah, I just saw this shit on my mobile page. Yeah. They don't know. I liked it though. No, you didn't like this. Yeah. What's the makeup? Yeah. I told you. No one. To me, it was. As you can hear in the video, her friend said it looked nice, and so have other comments. So for her to drag me is just insane. Just for her to still call me back to do her makeup. I said the makeup was boob. Not gonna lie. Oh God. Like, why are you proud of this? Shit? Take this shit down. I'm in shock to even have her her say that. Like. Why am I proud? Why is she proud of that? Like, be for real. You was my first celebrity client. Like, anybody would have been proud. I'm sure when you got signed, you was proud too. Like, you had time to perfect your craft just like me. And honestly, if it was just that ugly, I don't understand why you allowed me to do your makeup two more times after that. Like, she has different hairstyles. Every time I worked with her, she always had a new stylist. So I'm just feeling like if you just genuinely didn't like the makeup, you could have got a new makeup so Glor glorilla asked a question why are you proud of this um she says i'm in shock to even have heard 
uh, 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 so makeup artist said, I'm in shock to even have heard her say that. Like, why am I proud? Why is, why is she proud of that? Be for real. You was my first celebrity client. Anybody would have been proud. I'm sure when you got signed, you was proud too. You had the perfect uh, time. To, you had the time to perfect your craft just like me. Close quote. So this sounds to me, right? Like if the makeup artist asked um, if she could post it, Glorilla might have, might could have said yes. And it would have been no harm, no foul. Like a, It's a classic case of someone preferring to ask for forgiveness instead of asking for permission. I could see how the makeup artist was hyped to promote her services after providing service for her first artist. You follow what I'm saying, man? I, I like I would definitely be tempted to promote my work if I did work for an artist. But you are using someone's likeness, which is a large selling point for that artist and their brand. You follow what I'm saying? I see what the makeup artist was trying to do. But without Glorilla's permission, I think she was in, kind of in a wrong. You know what I mean? Even though, <laughs> look, look, I like the vibe or the attitude in which Glorilla approached it. And look, it didn't seem to have any venom. It was merely creating a boundary and letting her know you shouldn't do that. You know what I'm saying? Hey, look, man. Look, I, like I said, I like Glorilla. I don't know why. Um, and, and you know what it is? I liked Glorilla once I found out that she didn't know foxes were real. That's when I was like, oh, I like her. <laughs> You're like, what? I, I'm saying I liked her when I saw this clip of Glorilla on foxes. Take a look. Say that they hate foxes taking a poo in their garden. We've had people say it also. Foxes? Fo foxes, yeah. <laughs> What's the Foxes, Seriously? oh my gosh. The animal, the animal, yeah. You have them out here? Yeah, have you not seen one yet? Come to South London, hun. <laughs> Come to South London, we'll show you. They're all- There's normal. I'm telling you, they own the streets here. So they like that. Um, yeah, but just not domesticated. Although you will find some really weird British people who will pet a fox. So yeah, that's good They howl at night as well. So like, you're trying to go to bed and at 2 a.m. It's outside. You don't, you don't get foxes? Sorry, I'm not they are orange wow. with a white tail sometimes or i might just be thinking about a brush to be fair <laughs> i can't believe it anna i can't believe that you can't believe it i can't believe it <laughs> yeah we knew boxes was real oh. you know what it is about that clip it's the fear that i felt like i saw in her face like when she knew like you mean to tell me swiper swiper is real yes is swiper a fox y'all know i'm talking about swiping no swiping right is that a fox? I think it's a fox. Now I gotta go look it up. What the hell is Swiper? Uh, Y'all tell me what Swiper is in the comments below because I don't really know what he is now. Now that I'm thinking about it, I think I think he's a I think he's a fox. Whatever the case is, she looked she looked mad concerned. Like, oh my gosh, I can't believe that thing is running around. <laughs> I was expecting her to say, "Does he steal stuff?" My bad. Uh. Oh, 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 let me give you, the, let me, let me tell you what I saw on the Instagram, right? I was, I was strolling through the lobby of the gram, you know how it is. And I saw this um video. I don't know if it's a video or a clip. Let me see if it's a video. I think it was a video. Take a look at this video real quick. It's a, it's called clone list. It's a list of clones. Take a look. So ho hopefully it played right, but um, if it didn't, uh, so so the the image was it said top five rapper clone list is what it said top five rapper clone list okay and and here are the images right they show Drake and Ja Rule and and it said their music don't hit the same no more all right <laughs> uh, uh, oh look look at Kendrick and and Fifty in the background it's beautiful stuff okay. Um, oh yeah, I see what it is. The music don't hit no more because what 50 did to Ja Rule and what Kendrick did to Drake, their music don't hit no more. Uh, we got, we got, it says continued successful careers after snitching. You got Gunna and 6 9 Oh man. Okay. It's a free, he's standing with free slime. Uh, they got the two rats sitting in the corners and we still love y'all. They above the streets. That's my rat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Their music, their music still did, did what it did. They had successful careers. They really did. Um, here it goes. Wasted potential. They got Big Sean and Fabulous. Damn. Wasted potential. Okay. They got the, the golden goat right there. This is closed. Hall of Fame. That's sad. Uh um, Joe Budden and Lil Yachty. They got they got uh what is it? Abandons everything that they create. Okay. They got everyday struggle, state of the culture, safe place, concrete boys, sad. Okay. This is my favorite one though. Um <laughs> it says copies of each other. And you see the robot copies in the background, like the iRobot copies. They got Cardi B, 
Megan Thee Stallion, Nicki Minaj, Lotto, Sweetie, Ice Spice, and JT. Essentially saying all of those women are the same artist. They're the same artist, all spitting the same thing. Now that's not fair. A lot of male artists do the same thing. They talk about killing people and doing drugs, don't they? They talk about killing people and doing drugs. So we could say that about them. But if we could say that about them, we could say that about the women too, okay? But what do they talk about? How 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 incredible their 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 buns are. How incredible their buns are and can't nobody resist their buns, okay? Of all things. Okay. Um yeah 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 all all of these are the same person. Their music is all the same. Tell me I'm wrong. Prove that I'm wrong. Prove that I'm wrong, okay? Because I, you know who you can't stick in there? You can't stick Lauren Hill in that category. I bet you you can. I bet you Lauren Hill wouldn't fit in that one, right? Uh, I, like, I bet you you can't stick MC Light in there. You look, Those are the only ones you can think of. I bet you you can't put Queen Latifah in there. I bet you Queen Latifah cannot fit in that circle, right? But all of these, this is all... And look, they're all bright. <laughs> Only Megan and JT are dark, but they're, they're damn, they all kind of look the same too. Anyway, my bad. Let me let me let me let me go to my shout outs real quick, okay? Um, yeah, 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 man. A lot of the, uh, unfortunately, a lot of you know, I guess the the culture has made it or the industry has made it so that if you want to be a woman artist, you gotta be um, you gotta be a whore, and you gotta promote that you're a whore. That's what they say. I'm not saying that they are whores. I'm just saying, hey, look, if you, uh, you know, the industry appears to say, if you want to be a woman artist, a hip hop artist, you must promote yourself as some form of a whore, or at least you got to talk like it. And then this is what we got. This is what we got. Uh, hey, look, man, I, I, I hate the fact that that's what it is. And I wish that it didn't have to go that way. But that's what we keep getting. That's what we keep getting. I'm just saying what we get. Hey, look, they can't possibly be mad with me. It's the their lyrics, not my. I bet you Lauren Hill ain't mad at what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Uh, where we at over here, man? Where we at over here? It is, it, it is what it is, man. And I can't stand um male artists that talk about guns, drugs, and murder all the time in every single rhyme. Okay. Uh, especially nowadays it's one thing like there was a time when it was different it was a little bit newer or whatever and it was just a different um angle that artists were coming from but to 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 be a new artist and you're coming out with that again come on now you got to be more creative than that at least show some form of growth that's why fit that's why 50 cent was like man if i gotta make music today i gotta go into my dumb <laughs> i gotta i gotta tap into the dumb side of me in order to do it i get it i get what he's saying um, and look, don't get mad at me. Don't get mad at me. Okay. I, I'm not, you know, uh, don't get mad at me. I can, in doing this podcast, there's a lot of directions I can go. I can go the direction of all the other podcasters that make a lot of money and get a lot of views by saying the most craziest things that can possibly be said. I can go their routes. I'm choosing not to and staying in the lane that I think is best. That really, you know what I mean? Where I can maintain my own integrity and say, no, this is really me. You know what I'm saying? I'm a Christian dude that likes to listen to hip hop music. You follow me? And um, <laughs> that's where I'm at. Whatever. Uh, let's go to my shout real quick. All right. Shout out to who we got over here, man. Who we got over here? We got shout out to. All right. Cletwood the Great. Cletwood the Great said, yo, um, he said, what do you at? What do you at? He said, um, how did Jesus see the devil fall when that happened before he was born? Uh, that's a good question. How did Jesus see the devil fall? So here's the thing, man. Um, you know, the, the, and you know, I'm just responding to the, well, let me just, let me just give it to you like this. All right. Jesus was there when the devil was created. Okay. Uh, he created the angel and that angel turned into the, the devil. All right. He, he created all things. Colossians chapter one, Philippians chapter two says all things, which include the devil were created by Jesus and for Jesus. Jesus is the visible image of the invisible God. He existed before all things, everything that, um, that was created was created through him and he made all things seen and unseen all right um and that's what the scriptures teach all right if you know anything about an individual named jesus of nazareth you can only know that from the eyewitnesses who saw him uh, touched him and and uh interacted with him you only know about jesus from the eyewitness account and the same eyewitnesses that told you about jesus also told you he died in front of their eyes he was buried in the man's tomb 
that was guarded by some guards, right? Uh, uh, under the death penalty, um, uh, whatchamacallit, if they moved. And um, he rose from the dead. So the same eyewitnesses that saw him crucified and saw his actions and saw his miracles also stated that they saw that he rose from the dead and they interacted with him after. You're gonna tell me that you believe in the existence of this person and not every single aspect of what they are talking about? The only way you can know about Jesus is from their word. You know what I'm saying? You're like, well, they couldn't have lied about the one piece. This, they could have lied about one piece, but that's why like they're eyewitnesses that they made the statements and ain't nobody challenged it at the time. Like that joint ain't true because everybody else knew. Yeah, we saw him too. You know what I'm saying? After the resurrection. Uh, Coco Loco. All right. So this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. He said, it's not a tactic, celebs. Because this is when I said um, uh, Candace Owens, when I made the statement about Candace Owens and how she said that um, uh, Kamala ain't black. And I said the tactic is the same tactic that Trump used when he said Obama wasn't black. Coco Loco says it's not a tactic. We won't agree to disagree because you are the propaganda. He's telling me I'm the propaganda. The last three Democrats ran on the promise of same changes. 16 out of 20 years and nothing. You talk about research, but you run your mouth blindly. Trump hasn't said anything to anyone that they don't tend to say amongst themselves. That's a fact. It's the why people aren't offended. That's just media saying that they should be. What is he talking about? This is what I'm saying. Okay. Speaking of apologies, when you're wrong, go ahead and put that Kanye apology in. Uh, per so many court documents, he again has been cleared of that uh, uh, of a lot of that crazy. Stockholm is voting for the party that has done terrible. Th no, 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 sir, no. Okay, wrong, wrong, wrong. Like Homelander said, wrong, wrong, wrong. Okay, uh, listen, listen. Let me let me just throw this out about politics. Okay, politics make um, politics. Politicians make promises. They do. They make promises and a lot of times the promises are not carried out. And this is why, because if I, as a politician say, I'm going to do this, I'm going to lower taxes on whatever, yada, yada, blah, blah, blah. If I'm going to do I'm going to make all cars red. I promise to make all cars red, right? Other, in, in order for that to be, other politicians from opposing parties have to agree with me that we're all going to make cars red again. OK, but here's the thing with, poli with, with politics, right? A lot of politicians, they know that, hey, look, I'm for the uh, Republican Party. And if I vote that I want to make cars red, like what this Democrat is proposing, then I'm showing that I abandoned my party and sided with what this Democrat did, the person that's on the opposing party. And then when I want to run again in the future, they're going to pull up how I voted and see that I voted against my party. Uh, you know what I'm saying? And I didn't choose to play the game of politics. That's how it plays. So a lot of these politicians, Republican and Democrats, do not fulfill their promises because a lot of their promises are dependent upon votes. And if they can't get the opposing side to agree with their promise, then the joint don't 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 play out. You understand what I'm saying? Did it make sense to you, sir? Both sides. Republicans and Democrats have to agree about what this politician is trying to propose. And if they don't agree to it, then the joint don't go down. So you can't that when it don't go down, you can't look at the politician and say, oh, you didn't carry out your promise. They tried and it didn't pass. This is very simple, sir. You know what I mean? It don't matter how much military experience you got. If you don't know politics, you don't know politics, my man. You follow what I'm saying? Thank you for being number one and two in our videos every day, though. I do appreciate that. And I love you for that. You know what I'm saying? Now, cuss me out in the comments below. Uh, uh, where we at over here? Okay. Uh, what is this? 1796. M1796 said, I've been watching you for almost five years. And I just realized you made it to my number one show. I watch on YouTube out of all the stuff I like. It all gets watched after I see Celeb Source and Sauce. Can a ninja get a shout out or something? Damn. M7, 19, 1796, shout out to you. I do appreciate that. It really does mean a lot. It really means a lot when you say that we become your, you know, one of your top sources of um, um, entertainment. You know what I mean? And I really appreciate that. That means a lot, man. Shout out to you. Peter Douglas. My man Peter Douglas said, I want to keep this short. Then he wrote a paragraph. He said, I've been rocking with you for a while. 
And I'm not going to lie. I was about to unsubscribe because I felt like you started to move too much towards religion. Fortunately, I stuck around for this episode. That's yesterday's episode. If y'all ain't seen yesterday's episode, I feel like I was really on to something with that. He said, um, I found yesterday's episode where you inadvertently cleared a few things up. Not that you care, but I have a college degree in the science of audio, so I'm a professional audio engineer. Oh, no, 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 I do care, man. I care about all of y'all, man, and, and how y'all think. Real talk, I'm sorry if I sound like I don't sometimes. He said, also, I, brought, I was brought up in the church, attending Sunday school during the weekend, services during the weekends. I never heard anyone interpret the Bible um, the way you do, and I never heard of such a well-defined perspective. I appreciate that. He said, what you said about Lucifer producing an atmosphere of worship through music is something I never heard before. But when I think of the famous term music is universal, it all makes sense. Funny, I've never been more inspired to go and read the Old Testament. Not to diminish the integrity of any pastor, but I think many pastors have an old school way of teaching that doesn't resonate with today's youth. I think your platform is a great tool and I see you leveling up. I felt like paying an offering today. Yo, this statement, this pat, this, this message, um, you know what I'm saying? Almost brought a tear to my eye, man. I really appreciate you um, expressing your support and saying everything that you're saying. Listen. Let me just throw this out here. I tried a, a YouTube channel, Peter Douglas. Thank you for your support, $9.99. I appreciate that. I tried a YouTube channel before, okay? I'm, my face is on it. I got images in the background. I'm talking about religion and God and and and, and really, I'm, I hate to say religion. I'm talking about God and the scriptures, right? That's what I'm talking about. And um, my video ain't getting no views. That joint still, like to this day, I did this joint like 10 years ago. To this day, right? I got like 10 views on it. No, 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 I got like 60 views on it. To this day, 10 years ago, 60 views, okay? One video might have like 400 views, all right? And it'd be the same stuff that I'm telling you here. But um, someone else scooped me up and wanted me to do hip hop news. And because I'm deeply into the scriptures and stuff like that, that stuff still seeps out in, in, in me covering this hip hop news. I'm just covering it from that angle. So all that to say, man, you know, um, you know, I mean, this is this is this is what I've always wanted to do. You know what I'm saying? Um, and apply, you know, biblical truths to the things that we see on a daily basis. Uh, uh, much love to you for that, Peter Douglas. And lastly, Melo uh, Evera. Me Melo Evera. Uh, Melo Evera. I've, se I've seen you before. I just don't know how to say your name. Melo Evera. Whatever. My man gave me ten dollars. He said I'm sending my offerings. Shout out to Celeb Source and Source Team. Appreciate you for that, man. Real talk, man. It really does mean a lot. Okay. Um, uh, oh, oh, lastly, let me give you this last shout out to uh, who we got over here, Sean Stack. Sean, what's my time looking like? What's my time looking like? At 32, I right, look. She said, um, this is to Money Man. She said, this is to Money Man. Because yesterday, Money Man. She said, the Old Testament is preparation for our Savior, Jesus Christ. The New Testament is the truth. The most important part of the Bible, the whole Bible is life. But to save your soul, you need to know the New Testament. It talks about the time of now. Um, God bless, follow Christ, Jesus lives eternal. Uh, shout out to her for that. That's real talk, man. Remember, the Old Testament is looking, uh, is telling you that a savior is going to arrive, right? And, and a savior is um, prophesied to arrive and save us from our sins. So it's looking towards a savior. And in the New Testament is the, you know what I mean? The arrival of the savior, all right? So the Old Testament saints, they're looking towards the savior and us, we're looking back at the savior all right um historically speaking shout out to y'all anyway let's get right back to it wrap this bad boy i'm gonna wrap this one up with um what dj academics posted all right dj academics posted uh this sounds like um like a police scanner in chicago and on this police scanner in chicago it sounds like someone um was hit right shot by three people and the person said to be shot is charleston white um, take a listen to what DJ Academics posted. Now, um, I'm hoping that uh, I'm hoping that the whole thing is a hoax and no one was shot. I'm definitely hoping that, um, you know, uh, uh, Charleston White wasn't shot. You know what I mean? Charleston White that we know. Or anybody shot. I don't, you know, I, I hope it's a bloodless weekend. How can I can I say that? Okay. Um, but if Charleston White was shot, now that is is gonna be um, I mean, I, you know, I guess a lot of people would, would be like, oh, surprise, surprise, like he's been very disrespectful, and so you know, it's not it's not unusual for him to have been shot. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, it wouldn't be unusual. I would hope that it did not happen. I don't want to see anybody shot. Um, 
So I guess we'll get more as more detail unfolds about that, the accuracy of it. Uh, we're going to get into it. You're like, well, why'd you post it? I'm just posting what DJ Academics posted. Okay. What do you want? All right. So look, look, look. You know what DJ Academics posted? Someone by the name of Charleston White was shot. Okay. So whether it's the Charleston White you think, or it's just another guy named Charleston White, someone by the name of Charleston White was shot. What do you want? You know what I'm saying? Like, like, what do you want me to tell you? Like, I wasn't there. Ma matter of fact, for most of these events, none of us have been there. Okay? It, we're just reporting what people report. You know, why are you getting all bent out of shape? I'm not getting bent out of shape. I sound like I'm getting bent out of shape. I'm saying I'm reporting something that people have... Don't get me started. Okay? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Be sure to like. Be sure to subscribe. Um, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source. Your source for celeb news. Oh, oh, check out yesterday's video, man. I think I got real deep with it, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, I was like, oh, shoot. You know what I mean? Because I never really looked at the aspect of how music has an effect on those around us. So if you missed yesterday, um, we, we got we go a little bit into that. Um, and, uh, and the references for that is Ezekiel 28. If you want to get information on the de on the devil, Lucifer, right? Or Satan, because um, Lucifer is his angelic name. So that's not his name anymore. His name is Satan, which means adversary all right uh or enemy all right so you got um ezekiel 28 you got ezekiel chapter one which tells you about this man that has a vision of god and what god looks like what he was surrounded by is wild you need to check it out okay um some people freak out when they when they read it like yo the joint had nothing but eyes it was covered with eyes i was like yeah i'm like yeah like some people are like well that's ridiculous i've never seen anything like that it doesn't make any sense i'm like you ain't never seen a spider you ain't never seen a spider bro how many eyes a spider got you know what I'm saying? Stop being weird. Uh, stop being weird. Okay. It had eight. It had eight. This. This is like, well, how many arms do, do a freaking uh, uh, octopus have? You're like, those are tentacles. Don't start with me. All right. It's Sunday. I'm trying to chill. All right. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Be sure to like. Be, look, some creatures got, got spikes, right? Porcupine, they got spikes. All right. Some freaking spit acid, golden land vipers. All right. Uh, um, Komodo dragons, man. This world is wild, bro. Spiders got eight, eight legs and eight eyes and or, or four eyes, whatever the number is. It's insane. This, this nothing is nothing is crazy. Uh, except for people. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Be sure to like. Be sure to subscribe. Thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source. And this just in. Uh, DJ, I was gonna say our sources, but you know, our sources DJ Academics at this point. Um, he, he has posted an update, right? And it says a man named Charleston White called the police off the hospital landline, but the hospital says there's no one shot outside the ER. So, my bad, I had to sneeze. Um, I think uh, uh, it appears that what you thought, right, or what I thought on what academics posted that he was shot um is not a reality you know what i mean and that's definitely a good thing because we don't want to see anyone shot you know what i mean i don't care if it's um Ch uh, charleston white or or joe blow down the street you, you follow what i'm saying man we don't want to see anybody shot man that's a horrible thing you know what i mean um and we know we know that a lot, a lot of what Charleston White says is wild. He does say that he um, wants to speak against a lot of what he sees in the industry. But then he also he says he plays a character and the character that he's playing looks like it sounds like a character from off the boondocks. But he says that he's tried to promote positive things in the culture before and it didn't work. So the only way to get folks to listen is to be as ignorant as possible. And um, apparently it, it works so well. People actually think that that's really him. Um, he's like. Like, yo, but you know, if I was gonna be killed, if I was really standing on what I'm saying, like the way I'm saying it, I would have, I would have been got killed. You know what I mean? So, um, so apparently, that according to the update, that's what what the situation is. Uh, let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Be sure to like. Be sure to subscribe. Thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news.